there may be thousands and thousands of videos related to web development in youtube but this is the only video you will ever need to watch and you may have the question why should i watch this video in particular and the answer is i am a self taught web developer myself i didn't go for any classes i learned everything in youtube and from some websites so what i'm about to share you in this video is not only my knowledge about web development it is also my experience about learning web development in this video i'll be covering a to z about web development from what is web developer how many types of web developers are there what are the technologies you need to learn and why you need to learn those technologies basically everything you need to know about web development so without wasting any more time let's get into the video okay let's start with the question what is web development to be simple web development is creating websites but how do we actually make one let's take this example to make a conversation with other human we speak a certain language right that's what we do here in order to speak to computer we should know a certain language that computers can understand and in general it is called as programming or coding and just there are how many languages to speak as a human there are more than 500 plus programming languages to speak to computer as well so now if you are a person who can talk to computers you will be called as a programmer but you can be specific about it like if you just want to talk to computers to create a website you will be called as a web developer if you want to talk to computers to create apps it will be app developer if it is developing games it will be game developer i hope you understood the concept okay now how many types of web developers are there if you want to be a web developer you can be three types of web developer front end developer back end developer and a full stack developer now let's start with front end development whatever you see in a website like design fonts pictures everything you can see in a website with a visible eye is called as front end development and when you click a button on a website some function will happen right like it will redirect you to another page or it will some some action will happen right that's called back end development now if you can combine those front end development and back end development it is called as full stack development and if you don't know what to choose do one word like this if you are interested in designing you should choose front end development and if you are interested in programming you should choose back end development and if you can do both you can choose full stack development the bottom line is you can be a front end developer back end developer or a full stack developer you can choose whatever you want but you must be interested in coding because that's the main pillar here if you just like to design websites you can be a web designer there is a huge market out there but only if you are interested in both the designing and coding you can choose front end development or full stack development if not don't choose coding choose web designing okay now let's see what are the technologies you need to learn to be a web developer first you have to learn a language called html see everything that you learn here will not be a language i said there are 500 plus different languages to speak to computer right every language has its own purpose for example if we take top programming languages like javascript it will be useful in web based applications python it will be useful from general purposes to aa java it will be useful in app development c++ it will be useful in game development like that every programming language has its own specifications and purposes now when we take this html it doesn't come under a programming language it is called as a markup language let's take our human body as an example every organ is like heart kidney lungs liver that humans have as a specific purpose and we also have a foundation a base that is called as skeleton without it we are nothing right it's the same here in web development html is a skeleton without it you cannot do anything and it's super easy to learn if you can remember we all would have learned the html in our computer class in school no matter how slow of a learner you think you are it would only take a maximum of one or two days to learn it that's how easy it is now after learning html you have to learn something called as css cascading style sheets and again this is not a programming language it is a styling language yes it is in the name it is used to design whatever you coded in html this is how it will look like after we coded in html now when i use css this is how it will look like with css you can change background color text color positioning and you can be able to align items in whatever the order you want and this is just a tip of the iceberg when learning advanced css you will learn to animate things transform things and many more and again this is also a easy thing to learn from beginner to advanced it will only take a maximum of one or two weeks to learn it and another important thing is whatever or whomever the course you take they will not cover css fully they would only teach you the basics you have to be the one who have to figure out everything you have to be the one who have to search and experiment what this sign of code would do what this sign of code would execute it's not only for css it is in general whatever the programming language you try to learn this would be the case they're not going to teach you every single thing you have to be the one who have to figure out every single thing i know you are confused right now and can't be able to understand what i'm saying but trust me you will understand me when you start learning web development see when it comes to learning programming you don't need to memorize every single thing when there is a problem you just have to know that this function could able to solve this problem that's it you can get the code later by searching it on google in fact programming is 90% searching and 10% knowing things and as long as you are stronger in that 10% 
you will do great okay now after learning css you have to learn something called as bootstrap when you are building a website you would be writing nearly or more than 1000 lines of code so to solve this problem we programmers should shorten and write the code to extend that it's possible for us most of the lengthy lines usually come from css and that's why to reduce it you should learn bootstrap it is a framework which provides a collection of pre built html css and javascript components you can easily add these components into your projects by linking the bootstrap library to your code this would save you a lot of time from writing complex css as you can simply use the ready made code snippet for buttons navigation bars fonts and more and that's why to reduce it you should learn bootstrap i will show you an example on why it's more important to learn this this is how much lines of code it takes to design this button but now when i use bootstrap this is how much line of code it is used now you have reduced the lines of code and saved a hell lot of time bootstrap is just a framework there are many other frameworks out there you can learn whatever you want just the research on it and choose what suits you right but the famous ones are bootstrap and tailwind css and it will only take a maximum of one or two days to understand and adapt to this frameworks okay now after learning css and bootstrap you have to learn something called as javascript now this is a programming language i said html is skeleton of web development right javascript is like art of web development without it there will be no functions happening let me explain it in a way that you can understand till now we have learned html and css with the help of html we can create a button element and with the help of css we can design it but what's the use of a button if there is nothing happening when a user clicks it if there is a button there has to be some action happening right that's where javascript comes in with the help of javascript you can manipulate that button to do whatever you want to do as i said earlier javascript is what gives life to a static website and you have to be very careful while learning javascript it will be easy in theory but in practical it will be hard as hell if you don't have a good foundational skill so focus on learning the basic concepts and make it stronger because i have been there so listen to me and it would take at least a month or two to learn and master javascript and while learning javascript you have to learn this too jquery just like how there is a framework for css jquery is for javascript and next you have to learn a framework called react js this is also a framework but not like jquery jquery is used to write short line of code but react js is used to design ui elements so okay, let me make it simple for you if there is a website with clock widget written by javascript code the whole website has to refresh every single second to update the time and over the time it could slow down the website but what react does is it will break down the website into parts so instead of refreshing the whole website every time the clock updates only that specific part which has the clock widget is refreshed and as i said earlier this is just frameworks you have three options react js Angular JS and Vue JS. It has some similarities but unique purposes. Research on your own and find what suits you best. Whatever you choose, it would at least take two to three weeks to learn and master it. Now we have finished learning all this. Congratulations, you are now a front-end developer. That's it. Within three months of learning, you are now a front-end developer. If you are only interested in design along with programming, you can stop it here. But in the process of learning it, if you got interested in programming, you should also start learning backend so the first thing you'll be learning in the backend is unix command line no matter who you are if you are at all interested in computers or learning something related to computer you will be learning this unix command line you cannot escape this one you would have seen it this is how it looks i said programming is talking to computers right this is the way you do it you can control and command your entire pc with this one this is the way you talk to computer so without learning this one you cannot survive and it is a shame in web development world to say i don't know how to use this unix command line so you better learn this one it would only take a maximum of 2 to 3 days to learn and master it and now comes the real backend first i'll explain what is backend in a easier way with whatever we have learned till now we can easily make a website it will be functional but not in a responding way let's say you visit a website and what are the information you give in there while signing up is called data and that data will be stored somewhere right that is called as database when you again log into the website it will be checking the existing data to match the details you entered now If it is the same, you will be logged in. If not, you have to retry. This is what backend is. It is the brain of a website which controls everything. Now to learn this backend, you have enormous options of languages to choose, like Python, Java, Node.js, PHP, Go, C# and many many more. If you choose a language like Python or Java, it would at least take five to six months to learn it. and a year to master it but as i said earlier you have many options to choose and you can choose node.js it is not exactly a programming language it uses javascript to run code in the server side and the best thing about this is you have already learned and mastered javascript 
so it will be so easy to learn and master Node.js. It would only take a maximum of two to three weeks to learn and master it. If you are starting from non it background, I would recommend you to learn it this way. First, learn Node.js and do some projects and get a job and gain some experience. After a year or two, now you can upgrade yourself by learning any of those languages by your choice. That's how I'm doing it. I started by learning Node.js as a backend language and after two years, I'm now upgrading myself by learning Python. But I cannot recommend this for everyone. It best shoots for the people who are trying out freelancing. For others, it has to be your call. If you're doing it this way by learning Node.js, you'll be called as a main stack developer or a main stack developer. Earlier in this video, I said there are many famous libraries for JavaScript, right? Like React.js, Renew, Vue.js, Angular.js like that. If you choose React.js, you'll be called as a main stack developer. If you choose AngularJS, you will be called as a main stack developer. That's it. If you're choosing Node.js as your backend language, you have to learn this framework called Express.js. It's just like how we learn Bootstrap for CSS and jQuery for JavaScript. It's a framework for Node.js. It will take a maximum of two to three days to learn and master it. Now, after learning a backend programming language, you have to learn something called as API. Let's say you're building a website and you want to show weather updates in your website. But how do you get those weather updates? You cannot be able to track and collect the weather data yourself, right? Instead, there are some government agencies and private companies who track this weather and update in real time in their website. Now, they provide a special link which is called as API. This link lets you talk to their system and get the latest weather updates. Now, you can use that link in your website to automatically show the weather updates without having to manually check or update it yourself. This is what API is and this is why you have to learn this. And it will take at least maximum of 3 to 4 days to learn and master it. And after after learning this, you have to learn something called as GitHub and this is an optional one. If you want, you can learn. If you don't want to, you don't want to. This is nothing but a software which saves your code in online. The main problem a programmer would face and the biggest fear of a programmer is losing their codes. If you have that fear, you have to learn this one. It would actually take maximum of two to three days to learn it. And the next thing you'll be learning is databases, which is one of the most important one in backend. This is where you will learn how to store and manage data for your web applications. And you will be learning two types of databases. One is MySQL and another one is MongoDB. But why do I have to learn two types of databases? There is a reason for it. See, when you collect and store data from users, it will be either in a uniform way or in a flexible way that you can be able to customize. To store data in a uniform way, you should use MySQL. And for a flexible way, you can use MongoDB. I'll make it clear for you with an example. Let's take Twitter. All your login details will be stored using MySQL in a table form because there will be no other data collected rather than email, phone number, username and password. So it can be stored in a table form like an Excel sheet. On the other hand, the tweets you post, the images and videos you upload on Twitter will be stored using MongoDB because it will be in a non-uniform way. Now I think you will be clear about the concepts behind learning those databases and it would actually take a week or two to learn and master these concepts. After learning databases, the next thing you will be learning is authentication and security, which is most important part of learning web development and for a website. Here you will be learning about authentication, encryption and hashing to save the data that you collected from your users. It's really mandatory to learn this because you can program the fastest website or the sleekest website in the world but if there is no safety for your code and the user data what's the use that's why you have to learn this it'll only take about a week or two to learn this but with this one you have to keep yourself updated because security threats emerges regularly and here comes the hard part now you have learned everything you need to be a web developer the hard part is you have to put everything together and make a website you'll do tons and tons of mistakes sometimes you wouldn't even remember what you learned but don't worry that's how you learn that's how you progress again i'll say this remember it programming is 90 percent searching and 10 percent knowing things and as long as you're good at that 10 percent you'll do great and that's it if you learned everything that i've said now you are now a web developer congratulations in advance and if you want me to make a separate video on what are the best resources to learn web development both via paid and free let me know in the comments i'll try making a video about that one and if you're interested just by learning one extra technology you can be a blockchain developer and for that you should watch this video right here where i'll be talking about everything you need to know about blockchain now to be a blockchain developer in 2024 hope you don't want to miss this one